Hey, welcome to another Wanza Review with the Wanza Review. And this is an 18 year or older channel. But I mean, if you're 16, 17 or whatever, it, I just cuss a little bit. I don't even cuss that much, to be honest with you, but there is cussing. So anyways, this is for adult collectors, if you will. Anyway, <clears throat> you're checking out the new Ultron and the new Ursa Major Bear figure, Build-A-Figure. Um, we'll look at the uh, Ultron first. Ultron looks amazing. Ultron looks so damn good. He looks good with all your villains. I got Doom over here with Kang. They look pretty dope with this figure. Um, yeah, the little mouthpiece can come out. Well, this piece can come out right here. That can come out, but I'm not going to take it out. There's no point. That can come out, though. Um, something I do want to bring to your attention, he does come with extra hands. Open hands. They look pretty good. And then he comes with these fisted hands, and I have an issue with my fisted hands. You see, this is a left fisted hand, and then this is a left fisted hand. Both my left, both of my fists are both left, and I'm being dead ass when I say this. If if you all have two right fists, and you come across my channel, please just hit me up, dude, and I'll send you this if you send me yours. Just make it a lot easier for me. Um, because now I gave the eBay seller good feedback. I wasn't going to blame it on him or her, whoever it was. But I'm going to have to wait until someone on eBay puts his hands up for sale and I'll buy him. Because I want this hand to be a fist, not an open hand. Because he's not going to be carrying anything unless I put that effect in his hand. But I'm not going to do that. So Ultron is so dope, though. They even put the boosters on the bottom of his feet. That's sick. Great figure. I do like the Diamond Select version, how they have all the black outlines, all of his line details in black. That does look cool, but I don't collect more, uh, Marvel Select at all anymore. I don't like their plastic. They remind me of NECA, even though I am going to be picking up the NECA New Blood Jason, which should be coming out anytime now. Anytime. I am picking up that Jason. I do want a Marvel Domino. I may end up buying the old Domino figure back the one where she was in that all black outfit. I just want to see what the 80s one looks like before I do that purchase. And uh, Legion, I want Legion. I do want a few more pops that are coming out too. They might not even come out till next year. Like I found out Green Day is coming out next year. It looks pretty cool. I want the Green Day lead singer. And uh, yeah, that's sick to me. <laughs> but um, yeah, so yeah, I definitely recommend Ultron. This is the Ultron that I've been waiting for. For a long time i never liked the old ones that had been out for years i just they never meshed with me i just never was looking for them but the ursa major figure this is the winter guard um member there's a couple of people in this group there's actually another member that's actually in this iron man wave this is the iron man wave and they're both this is an iron man wave figure they're both from the iron man wave ursa major build a figure a collection so this is the Ursa Major. <laughs> he is a bear. He's a human bear. I don't know if they ever make the guy, whatever he looks like as a human figure, but I don't need that figure. I just want this one. This is the build a figure that I wanted pretty much all year. I definitely, definitely wanted this build a figure. This build a figure is sick. Um, the one last year I thought was the coolest, but I didn't pick it up was, uh, uh, what was it, Venom Pool? I liked Venom Pool, but they didn't paint his nails. They should have painted his nails. His nails should have been black. I could have got somebody to paint that for me, but I didn't. I may still end up picking up that figure because I really do like my Deadpool and I like Venom. Oh, another thing too, that new Venom that just was released. What do y'all think about that? It's not out right now, but the Venom from the Spider-Man TV show with the red and the blue. I think the the body looks amazing. I think the the sculpt looks awesome. The butterfly joints are awesome, but I just don't like the paint. I don't want the blue and the red on there. And I understand why it's there, but I'm not going to buy it because of that. So thank you, but no thank you. Um, I'm going to wait and buy the version without that because they're going to. Something that I think you all need to know as collectors, even if you have been collecting for a long time, you just didn't realize this. Hasbro is making a lot of figures and they're messing up on them or they're coming out with the wrong sculpt or they're coming out with something wrong with the paint. They are going to fix that and make another figure. So if you see something come out and you don't like the way they made it, just wait. 
Like I could have waited one more week for this figure right here and I could have saved 20 bucks. I got this figure for 60 some dollars. Now it's out for 44. I don't mind spending upwards to of 30 to 40 dollars on a figure. Yes, I'll pay 25 to 32. I don't I don't care, but my high my low high to me is 30 to 40. I don't mind that. But 60 is pushing it, man. A lot of these figures that I've been buying recently have been pretty expensive. Like he's been expensive. That that uh Iron Man back there was expensive, but I could I could have bought him for regular price if I had waited. Um but yeah, some of these figures, man, like they're not coming out at regular price. Like the, the retro Spider-Man, good luck. That dude is $80. I got him for 40 when he first came out. So if you're a Marvel Legends collector, it's in your best interest to get it as soon as it really comes out, like retail. That's cool. You don't have to get it when eBay gets it, but when retail gets it, you need to try to buy it as soon as it comes out. Yeah, that goes for every line, though, not just Marvel Legends, especially like Mezco and um, Mayfix. Them shits go up. And Hot Toys. Oh, my God. That shit's crazy. Hold up. Isn't there articulation down here? Oh, yeah, there is articulation. In it. That's pretty cool. Yep. So yeah, this figure's dope. I just had to check that out real quick. But yeah, back to Ursa. Um, don't know much about him. Don't know his real name. Even if, if, if Ursa Major is, is his real name, if it's just his name when he's the bear, I'm not sure. I think he does have a real name. Articulation's pretty cool in the abdomen. Um, but you do get this gap. I just had to show you that. Uh, the back has a small gap. Not too bad. The, the top piece does come off. This does come off. See, it does come off, just so you know. I'm not taking it all the way off. I do have sticky tack in his head to give him more articulation in the neck. I would recommend that with your build of figures if you know how to do it. I would definitely do it because when you pop the head off and you want him to really look down, just fix your sticky tack real quick. Make sure it goes on correctly. And you can have him look down all the way. And no one has to see the back of it. And then if you want to look up forward, I mean up higher, pull that up first, pop the head back on, and he can look up even higher. So that's my little Ursa Major hacks for the day. <clears throat> Great fig. I'm not going to let this go on for too much longer. Cool. I got some more podcasts to listen to. I listen to TMG and the Joe Budden podcast. Those are two of my favorite podcasts. The only podcast. Well, and I also listen to the Bill Burr podcast too. Those are the three podcasts I listen to. Uh, but yeah, I definitely recommend these. I re definitely recommend those podcasts and I definitely recommend these two figs. Um, next figs coming will be Legion, Legion and Domino. That's probably the last two Marvel Legends of the year for me. Unless anything else comes out, I'm really going to try to stop collecting next year. I do still have some Spider-Man figures that I want to get, so I'll do those reviews or those show and tells when I get them. But I think after this year, guys, the ones of review channel will be coming to a, a, a snail's pace. I'm just going to say that now, a snail's pace. So, I mean, I've already been going pretty slow, but months are going to go by next year, though, because I'm really trying, really trying to get out of the uh, collecting game. I noticed how the toy people are with all the remakes and oh we messed up on here we're gonna redo this and have this come back out and I hate how they do their accessories so you know there's some gripes I have with Marvel Legends I do like it but there are some things that they need to fix <clears throat> that they're never going to because of money so I'm gonna stop the rant there I'll probably have a rant when I'm done collecting like the way I've been collecting now when it's going when it before it goes real slow on my channel I'll probably do a video on why I'm trying to walk away but it, it's just so hard I, I love toys man they're great but they are expensive and it just seems to uh impede on my life like i, I want to do more but i keep spending so much on toys so just make sure that doesn't happen to you guys like i mean i do do things with my friend like the other weekend i was just over in ocean city having fun but i want to uh do more you know i feel like i spend a lot of time looking and searching and trying to make sure i get these things not even for youtube they're just for me now because my views are nothing to write home about, and it's okay. But, you know, that's my Wanda review with the Wanda review, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.